Jean Greer here at Stylish Fireplace is introducing you to one of our most popular brick veneers. It's called Avalanche and it's the white brick that you see behind me. Avalanche is a man-made brick veneer, so it's not reclaimed brick from an old building. It's man-made from a Portland cement material and it's made to look like real brick. And if you look at my sample, you can see the variety of textures in the brick. It's been molded from the texture of real bricks to look like real brick. When we say veneer, we're simply referring to the thinness of the material. In this case, it's about 3 8 of an inch thick, and it gets applied to the wall in individual pieces, much like a subway tile, if you think of it that way, but thicker than a tile to give us the texture that we see here. Because it's 3 8 of an inch thick, we do cut it with a wet saw, and then, as I say, it's applied to the wall, much like a subway tile with spacers in between, you're going to look at a space that's bigger than your average grout line on a tile. We want it to look like brick, and so there needs to be a thicker line in between each brick. We've shown ours with white mortar so that the overall effect is the look of a brick wall that's been painted over, but I haven't had to paint anything. If I don't want that painted effect, I could of course use another mortar color and I could go with just a regular gray or go really extreme and go black. Something like that would highlight the mortar lines and it would highlight the contrast between them. If I want the look of painted over brick, I'm going to have to use the white mortar. Keep that in mind depending on the look that you're going for. You get the look of a painted brick without having to do the painting. These are applied individually, as I stated, so there is some skill involved in keeping those lines level and keeping the gaps even. A skilled tile installer could certainly do it. A handy DIY installer could do it with a little bit of effort. I've installed these bricks in individual pieces. I'm not a great tile installer. It is a little bit challenging to keep them level and use the spacers properly if it's not something you do every day. But if you're good at that, by all means, this can be done by a DIY installer. Although I prefer the look of it when I had professionals do it. And it is individual pieces. I mentioned that it is Portland cement. And so the manufacturer says that this is fire safe. It can be installed around gas and wood burning fireplaces. We sell electric fires, so we can put just about anything around our fireplaces, but we do get questions about putting it around other types of fireplaces where heat and flame are involved. And because it's a Portland cement material, it is safe around fires. Of course, if you were painting over a brick veneer, your paint would have to be fire safe. In this case, it doesn't need to be painted. And so the brick itself is safe and it's a great alternative to go around those fireplaces with actual combustion inside. Again, it's called Avalanche. It is a Canadian product from a company that we work with called Impex. You can see all of our brick veneers on our website, stylishfireplaces.ca. Look under the Renovate tab and you'll see the wall finishes at that point.